Hey now, hey now, exams are over. And that, my friends, is why my housemates made me take a test to see if I was tone deaf. Anyway, hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is Sunday the, what, if, what day even is it? Post exams life be like. Today is Sunday the 16th of June. Today basically we are hosting a brunch at my house with loads of my really close friends to celebrate the fact that we are done with exams and also to say farewell to one of my really good friends, Georgia, who is heading off on a year in industry. So she's going to work in London and obviously I'm buzzing for her but I'm sad that she's leaving. Don't go bacon my heart. That's the theme of the brunch. But also I wanted to vlog this week because tomorrow I'm heading off to a mystery location. Ooh. I mean, it's not a mystery to me. Like I know where I'm going. Basically I am fleeing the country to avoid having to even think about my exam results. And I'm going abroad with a brand on a hashtag ad, hashtag gifted trip. At the beginning of this year, I wrote down my goals for the year and this channel. And one of them was to travel with a brand. And so getting to do that is just so freaking cool. I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing like Barry B. Benson. Yes, that was a B-movie joke. Yes, I've made it before. Um, so yeah, I have got a shit ton of sausages to cook. But uh, welcome to the vlog. This is going to be a wild time. The sausages are going in. This is the beginning of the end, perhaps. We have absolutely military time precision going on. At the moment, it is an absolute sausage fest, so... The hash browns are going in. Right, it's all going on. We've got the bacon, we've got the sausages, the veggie. Well, that's good, isn't it? Okay, so brunch is done. Everyone's gone home now. It was lovely. My compliments to the chef. Since then, I have edited and uploaded a YouTube video, which literally went live about five minutes ago. So I'm feeling stressed. Uh, basically, now I need to get packing. I realized that earlier I was like, Ooh, where am I going? Like, mystery location. But you're probably gonna see it in the thumbnail, or in like, one minute's time. So, I might as well tell you. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to Kiev. I had a few options of different places that I could go to, but I just thought, I don't know when I would ever get the chance to go to the Ukraine again. Um, I've never thought of going there before, so I just thought, you know what? Let's f***ing go. However, I realised this morning that I have no currency. I didn't realise, but you can't actually use your phone in the Ukraine. I don't know how to get from the airport to my hostel. And I tried to check in online and it just like wouldn't let me. It was saying that my passport number was invalid, but like, it's definitely not. It was right in front of me. Basically, I only have hand luggage, so I need to work out what to pack, but I don't even know what the weather's going to be like. Shit, I am really not prepared at all. Wait, what the frick? The weather is so nice in Kiev. It's going to be 31 degrees tomorrow. I might get a tan. I was genuinely about to pack like a bag full of jumpers, so that's good that I checked. I'm also kind of nervous because I'm going there pretty much on my own. In fact, I'm going entirely on my own. I don't know why I said that. So I'm going to try and navigate a brand new city, a brand new country. Um, where I don't speak the language. I don't even have any fucking currency on my own. What could possibly go wrong, you know? So I can't lie, um, I've packed my bag now, but I did get so stressed that I had a nosebleed, so good. I'm now cooking up some dinner. Basically, this is just a super easy recipe. It is gnocchi, prawns, courgette, and then loads of pesto and some soy sauce as well. made it to the airport. Here we bloody go. Hopefully it's plain sailing. Okay, so I have just landed in Kiev. That flight honestly went so quickly. I slept the whole time. And basically, um, I was talking to my friend Callum on Facebook the other day, saying that I was coming to the Ukraine and um, he just said, can I come? And I was like, yes, absolutely. Up until literally 1am this morning, I had no idea whether he was actually going to come. So I need to go and find him somewhere in this airport. There he bloody is. Well, here we are. So our hostel is opposite a sex shop, so that's good. Okay, so hi. Um, some time has passed. We landed in at the airport with no currency no phone battery, no idea where we were going. Um, somehow, we've made it to the hostel. We have these, we have a nice little divider between our beds. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and basically now, <laughs> I'm just Googling things to do in Kiev because, where are we gonna go? 
I didn't think this far ahead. <laughs> I didn't think we'd make it. No, I really didn't think we'd get this far. It's also roasting. Like, it's 31 degrees. This is not what it was like in Durham. <laughs> okay, so I've searched top attractions in Kiev and the second thing to come up was airport transfer. <laughs> Just go back to the airport. <laughs> we'll find something. <laughs> there is an app called Maps Me where you can basically like download maps so because we can't use um, 3G. We can basically download this and you can just use GPS. You can pinpoint places that you want to go so you don't miss anything. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. We just spent like a good half an hour just trying to find a metro station but we've made it. Yeah, I'm still very unsure about what is going on in general but we're trying to get to the city centre. So I have made it to the center of Kiev. Um, I'm in the Maidan Square. Um, so here's a lovely little montage that I'll make of some things that I've seen. That is so, no thank you. <laughs> Literally as I was filming that, a man came over with like three pigeons and tried to give me one of them and I was like, absolutely not. I do not want a pigeon on me. I don't want it in the vlog. I don't want it on my body. I don't want that to happen. That was horrible, Jesus. Wow. Okay, so we think you can go up this thing. So hopefully in the next shot we'll be up that thing. Okay, so it was closed. I kind of forget that like not everyone is working on the same time. Jesus Christ, that was a big step there. It's actually like half past five <laughs> right now. Things are closing. <laughs> um, so, see you tomorrow, Bell Tower. Wowie. Hello MTV and welcome to my hostel. It is day two in Kiev. Today we are going to try and do all of the things we couldn't do yesterday because we did them too late. Last night I was sitting on this sofa over here and a family of four just came and sat themselves here and had dinner whilst I was just kind of like just with them. That was sweet, you know, we love making friends. So this is the hostel room. There are 12 people in this room. This is my bunk up here. Um, apparently, according to Callum, it smells like B.O. in here. That's no idea. <laughs> but my nose is blocked so I can't smell it. So there's a silver lining to everything, guys, I'm telling you. We are like new people today. Yesterday we walked so that we could run today. Um, basically, we actually know where we're going today, which is a vast improvement on yesterday where we were just walking around like headless chickens. So today is a good day. We even pre-prepared our metro tokens. That's right. Who, who even am I? Hey. We are having significantly more success than yesterday. Look, this is good. Everything is going almost too well, so I'll probably be hit by a bus or something quite soon. This bridge or like tunnel thing is kind of held up by these statues. It's so cool. Oh wow, squad pick. It is so bloody hot today. I'm sweating like a pork chop at a vegan festival. Wow, wavy. This view is freaking crazy. We've come up to this like bell tower. How cool is this? Just like imagine how nice this view would be if that there was not in scaffolding. We're all working on ourselves this 2019. Do you ever see people selling those like really shit souvenir t-shirts and think who the hell buys those? It's me. I buy them. Yes, I did buy this t-shirt. Just for an Instagram. <laughs> oh yeah. Guys, I can confirm once and for all that I am a bell end. This is a freaking all body workout. Most onions. So we have some food. Do you wanna do like a little taste? See, I thought it was going to be red and then it just wasn't. It's all right, I don't know what it is. <laughs> And that makes me scared to eat it. Use the potato soup. Right, okay. I can't lie. We're getting some weird looks. We've been dunking this bread, right, in the soup. And I don't think you're supposed to. I think it's like a sweet thing. We were basically saying it's like the equivalent of dunking like a piece of Victoria sponge in a soup in like a British cafe. So <laughs> I don't think we're doing it properly. It's quite a lot of judgment in the old, uh, in the old cafe that we're in. So. <laughs> I've never felt so insecure eating soup. However, I must say, it's super. We just climbed up all of these steps. 
um, because I am a slut for a good view. And she's mighty fine. I changed my t-shirt back because I felt like a prick. <laughs> Look how nice the centre is at this time. It's like probably like 9pm. We just went for a pint. Um, and it's nice. See you later. <laughs> See you in the UK. <laughs> oh god. I'm on my own. Basically, Callum and I are on different flights back to London from different airports. Now, the airport that Callum is going back to is literally next to our hostel. Mine is on the other side of Kiev. So I need to get an hour-long train. I think I know where I'm going, but I'm really not sure. I basically got here like 20, 30 minutes early for an earlier train um, so that I've like covered my back um, because I cannot miss this flight. I've got a lot of important things to do back in London. Okay, maybe this has gone to plan. Slightly alarming that my flight is not on this board. Turns out there are multiple terminals in this airport and I am in the wrong one. Luckily I'm very very early but I need to get a shuttle bus to F, wherever that is. Okay, this is actually a really bad situation because I need to get a shuttle bus to the upper terminal. Like no one speaks any English, not even the people who work here, so I have no idea where I'm going and my flight is in like an hour. I was so early and now what the fuck. I am just super confused as to why an international airport is so hard to get to. I'm walking down this like path, um, literally alongside a motorway, um, and hopefully going to the terminal. Like, I'm not being funny, I've walked 20 minutes down this road, so if I'm wrong, I'm literally gonna miss my flight because I don't have time to walk back and I have no money, so. Oh my god, Terminal F. Maps Me has just absolutely saved my life. And then I made it onto my flight with literally minutes to spare, got back to London and went straight in for a day of meetings about my merch that isn't merch. Basically, the reason I'm calling it merch that isn't merch is because they're essentially products that I've designed and are completely 100% me. They're not t-shirts that just say like Jack Edwards all over them. Like I wasn't interested in that. They are products that literally anyone could use, products that people who have no idea who I am or absolutely hate me, fair enough, could use too. Like anyone could use these. Basically, we had all of our final meetings about the first initial product and you'll find out what it is very 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 soon we've actually ordered it so i will tell you about it as soon as i have the final final sample i then went to dirty bones in kingly courts just off carnaby street with my lovely friend eve cornwell look who it is guys i'm so hungry <laughs> i might eat <laughs> those burgers were Mm, heavenly. And then I actually ended up prolonging my trip because I was very kindly invited to go icing biscuits with Little Mix. It was such a random but fun day and the girls were so, so, so lovely. Like, I can't even tell you how nice they were. My Twitter account genuinely used to be like a low-key Little Mix fan account. So that was very, very surreal for me and I just feel very, very lucky to have all these opportunities. So yeah, what a crazy old week. My life is just nuts and it's all thanks to you. So thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for like making this possible for me. What the heck? When you're watching this, I will actually be in Australia. So check out my social media in the crotch box down below for all of my updates from there. But for now, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely day and I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.